Okay, today we have Mama Oriental Kitchen Hot Korean Flavor Noodles. For those who don't know, Mama is a famous Thai noodle brand. Um, and I picked this up for one pound and five P. Um, so slightly cheaper than the, the Korean noodles that I usually go for. Um, the packaging is beautiful on this, really, really well designed. Um, but yeah, I've never had it before. I'm quite interested to learn about this and see what it tastes like. So just having a look at the package, um, I think, yeah, I think it looks really, really high quality. It looks like they've tailored this for the export market, if I'm, if I'm right, yeah, for export only. Um, the nutritional information, it doesn't tell you how much is in the whole packet. It just tells you the energy per 100 grams of prepared product, which is 193 calories. That doesn't really help me much. Um, in terms of the um, ingredients here, the seasoning sauce has soybean sauce, fish sauce, squid, sugar, salt, dried vegetables, which include cabbage, spring onion, carrot, paprika powder, spices, flavor enhancers, chili powder, acidity regulators, yeast extract, thickener, chili extract, and preservative. Okay, I'm quite interested to see what this ends up tasting like. Um, in terms of how to cook it, add noodles and dried vegetables to 400 mils of boiling water, simmer for four minutes, drain off, and add the seasoning oil, mix well. Okay, so this is gonna be a dry noodle. Yeah, I'm gonna go in and see what's inside here. No idea what to expect. Okay. I like this, packets within packets. Okay. So I'll go in and have a look at the flakes first of all. Okay, looks like fairly generic instant noodle flakes there. Um, yeah, cabbage, spring onion and carrot apparently. Okay, and then this is gonna be the seasoning oil. I've, it feels a bit like a paste. So I'm maybe not use the scissors going in with this. Wow, that looks incredible. Yeah, it's just like a like a curry paste, you know, really thick. And it smells incredible. Whoa. It smells like uh, Marmite or Vegemite, actually. Oh, definitely getting fish sauce there. Whatever it was, squid, fish sauce. Oof. Pungent. Okay, that's quite unusual. The noodles are very pale. They, they look really good. They look air dried. You know, that sort of pale look. Um, yeah, quite interesting. Okay, I'm quite excited for this. Um, we'll have to cook it up and see what it tastes like. Okay. So I'm gonna do this a little bit differently this time. I have not mixed in this paste yet. I wanna do this on camera so you can see it. Wow. Oof, so pungent. It actually just smells of Marmite. Yeah, and all I'm getting now is fish after mixing this in a little. Just intense fishy flavor. I guess that's what most Korean um, noodles are, is that sort of hot seafood. Okay. Right, but the noodles themselves actually look pretty decent. They're not 
overdone, they're thick enough. Yeah, they seem, they look like the sort of noodles that I do enjoy. So uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Okay, in terms of the just overall look of this, looks quite nice. I think the flakes, they're not the best flakes I've ever seen. I think they're okay. Um, let me smell. Yeah, just a bit of a subtle um, seafood flavor on the nose now. I think the first time I sniffed that paste by itself, it was just really pungent, but actually it's dulled a little bit. Looks quite appealing. I just think the flakes could be a little bit better. Um, um, so yeah, I think I'm ready to try this. Let's give it a go. Mm. Heat. Wow. Punchy heat. More than I was expecting. Texture of the noodles is fantastic. Way better than I was expecting. Mmm. A lovely bit of chew on those noodles. You don't really taste the seafood, but when you go in for a bite, you smell it. It's really nice. I think when you add fish sauce, it just ends up making the dish taste a bit meatier, a bit more umami. I'm actually reasonably impressed. I think I think I'm just getting a little bit of chili and a little bit of fish sauce in terms of the flavors. I'm not really getting much of anything else really. Mm. Ever so slightly sweet. Little little hint of onion there, but really not much. Must be the spring onion from the flakes at the bottom here. Mm-hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Spicy. Overall. I was actually quite impressed with that. It's not really like any Korean noodle I've ever had. So I don't think they're trying to go for anything vaguely authentic here. <laughs> but the quality of the noodle is good. The flavor was nice. Um, you know, that, that must be um, yeah, squid fish sauce. Sugar, you do taste a little bit of sweetness as well. I really wasn't expecting it to be nice. I thought, how good can a Thai company make Korean noodles? They made it spicy enough, that's for sure. The actual noodles themselves were great. Flakes, I could, you know, they weren't amazing. The flavor itself was interesting. And, that, and that's the thing I think that I'm most interested by here is I'm not sure I could get another bowl of noodles like that. I think this might be the only one I would get. That's that sort of dry stir fry noodle, intense, hot, chili, Korean style, but with that quite strong pungent fish sauce smell to it. I mean, I wouldn't be able to point to a Korean noodle even that is like that. I know there's a lot of soup noodles that are seafood. Um, I'm not sure I've had one like this. So yeah, I think I was maybe a bit too quick to judge. I really felt like this was not going to be, not going to be good because it's not really, it's not Korean, but actually, yeah, I think that was okay. So for 1.5p, I think this is where I'm going to have a bit of difficulty. So the, the Samyang noodles are all 
and they are some of those are some of the best noodles you can get this was one pound five and again you do get you do get what you pay for with this stuff um you know that that was not anywhere near as good as baldak you know samyang baldak or chapagetti no way not special enough quality I prefer, I do prefer the Samyang noodle, I prefer the Samyang flakes, I kind of prefer the Samyang sauce, the way it's stir fried and everything, it caramelizes. I think you do get what you pay for with this. Is one pound and five P good value? I think it would be just okay for this. Um, it's not really particularly great value, especially when you look at Indomie noodles, you can get two of them and you're still cheaper than this. Um, so I think this is going to come down to how often would I have it and then I'll be able to give it a rating. So for me, um, I could see myself getting this maybe, you know, I, I really was convinced that, that I wasn't going to like this, but actually I could see myself getting this again um, in a few months time. I think I could, you know, I, I rated that Nong Shim soon at three stars. And I think I said I could get it every few months. And I really could see myself doing something similar to this. So surprisingly for this Oriental Kitchen hot Korean flavor noodle from Mama, I'm going to give it three stars out of five.